Hi everybody, my name is Steve123 and in this video I come across the best loot route in Fortnite Battle Royale so far. Now in my previous uh the previous place I used to go used to be where Lucky Land is now. Because it's been there, uh, I don't really enjoy it anymore. So I found this spot and it was really really good and I use it. Uh if you've seen some of my live streams, sometimes with Tyler, um I uh, go there or some other people that I do duos with um, but it's really really handy since you have so many spaces to go to uh, the only part I didn't loot in here that is a part of it is junk and haunted but you won't probably loot all of that by the time like by the time the circle comes in so you have to be in the circle twice or three times if you're in it three times you can loot all of it if you're in it two times you can loot most of it but as you can already see I've looted the hill uh, the next pleasant part. I've also looted um, the house. Now the house can contain up to one chest and the, the hill as you already saw is up to three chests and normally the loot that I find there is pretty good but as you can see I've just found a llama as well next to the motel. Um, I've entered the motel it wasn't that good loot until I turned around and saw that there was a purple scar there. Now already I was thinking like this is a good place to go, uh, this is the reason why I go here, but I've never had this much luck when I've been here before, like, if you watch any of my streams, I've never had this much luck until I've recorded this time. Finish uh, looting the motel, just loot the outsides of it now, there wasn't really that much good loot. Um, but then after I finish looting this, which I will in a minute, I do go on to collect the stuff from the llama. There wasn't really much good loot in here except for the amber box. The llama had kind of good loot, but wasn't the best llama I've ever opened. I've got poor thoughts and llamas, and also if you didn't know, you can mine llamas as well. Comment down below if you've ever actually done that before. I have. It took me quite a bit of time though. Quite a bit of time. But there wasn't really much that happened after this. So I did go to the umbrella uh, there was the chest on the bottom I should have mined the brick but I didn't have enough time because I need to loot the castle after so I've looted the hill I've looted the broken house I've looted the motel and I've looted the umbrella I was thinking about getting the hand cannon but if I didn't have a bolt then I would have got it because normally I would keep like I'd normally headshot them or hit them with a, with a pump or attack depending on what I've got and then I finish them off with the hand cannon because hand cannons are like pretty good now um, I love using hand cannons it's just I don't know uh, what to stop it for but now I delete the two houses outside of um, outside of uh, the motel I find slurp which is pretty useful actually I have cut out some of the footage, there isn't nothing like special that happens, left all the good parts in, but um, no, there isn't nothing bad that's like come out, uh, it's just me like running to spots, like me running between uh, the broken house and the motel, that was a big part to cut out and stuff, but as I do reach the castle now, there is some of the chests that spawn there, not all of them, but most of them did spawn. Obviously so far I haven't found any good loot. Bear in mind the circle was in my favour when this actually happened. Uh, you're only 
if the circle isn't in your favor then i just suggest looting the castle on the hill since they're like one of the most heavy filled spots for good loot i have found many scars in the castle and junk as well but it's only if you if you're in a squad then probably you can separate yourself and have your own loot but this is a place to go if you're in solo duo or squad it doesn't matter you still get good loot no matter what because once you finish with this you just go to pleasant and then just take out players that's left so i'm probably going to say it takes you about five minutes to loot motel and um castle and hill both the junk and uh, Haunted are actually like big, big places to go, which means you're gonna need more time for that. That's why I said you have to get in the circle like a couple of times to do it. Actually, here this is the last house I actually looted out of all four of them. Still wasn't much good loot when I went there. Don't worry. No, I don't know if it's just me or if I'm like, oh, if I'm unlucky or something. But every time I get into that broken house, I can't find any chest there, even though I know they spawn there. I was judging between if I should take the medkit or the uh, bandages because of the storm, but <coughs> I'm out alive. Didn't need them. I just get the bandages. At the end game, I couldn't use them. You'll see why. As you still can see, I'm still in the circle. It's fine. Put a chest in the truck. That was also fine. Now I've cut from when I ran all the way to Anarchy, because that's where the circle was. I just saw on the map. And there was a guy built a base on top of one of the barns. And he built a window in it, so I thought I'd try sniping, but it just wasn't working. So I start to push forward. Thought if I get close and high ground, I might be able to use my shotgun or AR, but that wasn't an option for me because, well, he wasn't aware where I was, but he was still saying alert. Trying to scout where I was, that's why I used the launch pad, but I don't think I showed that part. I'm making a quick one by one, just in case he wants to come down from the floor and uh, start attacking me from there. But he didn't, so that's a waste of my metal. See, by now I thought it'd be one v one, but no, it's never one v one where it was. But for now, it wasn't. This guy was in the game, if you see in the uh, kill feed that was there, he went from 8 players down to 3. One guy, well, yeah, like one guy just took down millions of players. And millions, I mean 5. Right now, I think he spotted me by now. See, what I'm trying to think is, I know where he is, that's one player, two players is me, where's the third player? And I thought he was going to be one of them uh, noobs that hide in, a, hide in a bush, or hide behind a tree, hide in a tree, or hide in one of the anarchy buildings, but no, he was on the other side, so that's why the moonwalker was focusing on him, not me, but because he was smack bang in the middle, he started to focus on me as well. So he launch padded over to me. And that's why I do change my spot right now. But from there, I don't know, I think he went back to his launch pad and then he launch padded over to the next circle, which you'll see in a minute. Tell me guys if you do enjoy me do like videos like this, like live commentaries over my uh, gameplay. I will be doing another video soon, 
it might be due to my top five favorite skins, but it seems a bit weak, so I might not upload it. So this would just be like a ninja shot, but obviously that was very unlucky. And then he died there, but got saved by my quick building. And there's a third person. The guy that killed them all. Now I didn't realise it was him that got all them kills. I thought the guy that got all them kills died, but you know. Still him. Yeah, no RPG, that's probably how he got all the kills. <clears throat> but right now they're having a battle. So I'll just stay in away from them, trying to see if I can get a cheeky uh, snipe. But then I decided to use the launch pad to get over there with them. Because of the circle. But I see the one in the port I thought was shooting me. So I distracted him, thought I could get a good snipe on him. Which you'll see in a minute. Try and scout the area, see if um, it's safe for me to go in. But since he was building, he was distracted. The Moonwalker was probably watching him, so I decided to go near the trees and build a little one by one there. In the back of my mind though, I knew that he had RPGs, so I was kind of uh, screwed up to here. Because I didn't have an RPG, which means if I had an RPG, I could have exploded the top of like, the bomber's base like he did to me. And then I could have finished him and my scar or my pump but no it, it, that didn't happen so I just built up walls so then he couldn't shoot now obviously at first he wasn't playing that well with the um, RPG she was on the bottom but you know he gave me that extra chance see now he changed focus from the moonwalker to me but it wasn't really working out. See, the moonwalker, what they should have done to push up behind me and killed me, but he didn't do that. So now I had two on my case. The moonwalker wasn't my main priority, but this guy was, because he was a threat. He, he, if he had got an RPG land on me twice and I'm dead. So now I thought the moonwalker would be in bushes because we were distracted, but no. Then I heard that the moonwalker was coming up, or I heard them near my base. I think they went past my base, not in my base, or started to brief it, but still looked out. Then this guy built a base come down, but I didn't realise that at first. But now I did, because I saw that there was loads of building there. So now I'm facing the moonwalker again. Now I don't know how this RPG got RPG shot got landed on me, but somehow it did. We'll see in a minute. See, I don't know how that actually hit me. I don't even know how he found me, to be honest. But he did. So now I had the rogue agent on me as well. But they have got distracted, so it's my chance for another one by one because they two were having battle. It turned out that the rogue agent, because he had the higher ground and he had an RPG, he beat the moonwalker. So it turned to a 1v1. Now the storm was pushing me as well as the RPG, so I couldn't heal. I had minis on me though. Could have used them, but I, he found me too quickly. Now he kept changing between his scar and his RPG, and then uh, well, this this happened, which you'll see in a minute. He had the higher ground, he had everything over me. And I don't know why I stood there while the RPG came after me, but 5 health and you won. So, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.